Hi, I am Steve Atkin, Chief Globalization Architect at IBM, and today I'm going to show you how to quickly get started with using the new Globalization Pipeline service on IBM Bluemix. In this video, I will show you how to enable access to the Globalization Pipeline service from a WebSphere Liberty application running in Bluemix. The Globalization Pipeline service helps you globalize your Bluemix applications by rapidly translating them into other languages without having to hire professional translators and email files to numerous translation vendors and wait around for them to email you translated files. The first thing that you need to do is to bind the Globalization Pipeline service to your Bluemix application. You can locate the Globalization Pipeline service in the DevOps category in the Bluemix catalog. And you can bind the Globalization Pipeline service just like other services in Bluemix. Once you have the service bound to your application, you can open the dashboard for the service and upload a file that contains your translatable strings. So go ahead and open the dashboard. In this particular example, I'll show you how to upload a Java properties file and then translate the strings into a few languages. So let's go ahead and click on New Bundle in the dashboard. We're going to go ahead and name our bundle. And then we're going to indicate it's a Java properties file. And then we'll just browse to the local file system and upload our property file. Now after the file has been uploaded, you can select the language that you wish to translate the strings into from the drop-down language selection list. And we're going to go ahead and select French. Once you select a language, the Globalization Pipeline service will use machine translation engines to translate your strings and will then construct a persistent translation memory for your strings to be stored in. As you update your translatable strings and upload them to the service, you don't need to worry about keeping track of which strings you've already changed. The Globalization Pipeline service will automatically figure out which source strings have changed and will only retranslate those strings that have actually changed. Let's go see if our translation is ready. So our translation is already completed. And we'll click on French here to view the, the, uh, the translated strings in the dashboard. If you'd like to edit a string, you can simply click on the edit icon in the dashboard. As soon as you make a change, it is automatically persisted for you in your translation memory. To access your translated strings in your WebSphere application, you can simply include the Java SDK for the globalization pipeline in your project and use your service credentials. You can find links to the SDKs off the documentation for the globalization pipeline service. Each SDK is available on GitHub, so you can go ahead and download them directly and use them in your applications. As you add new languages to your application, there is no need to recompile, repackage, or restart your WebSer application server. Your translated strings are immediately available to your application. We also provide other SDKs for other environments, such as Node.js and Apache Cordova and we'll be adding more in the future, so be certain to come back and check frequently about our new SDKs. In this sample application, we have included and configured the Java SDK, so once you've added a new language, all you need to do is change your browser's language preferences 
and refresh the browser page to see the translation. So we'll go ahead and select French. And we'll simply refresh the application. And you'll see our application is now available in French. Now if you'd like to directly include the translated Java property files in your application, rather than using the SDK, you can download them directly from the dashboard and compile them with your application. To download the file, simply click on the download icon and specify the format that you'd like the file to be downloaded in. I hope this short video has helped you to get started using the Globalization Pipeline service and developing global applications on IBM Bluemix. Mm -hmm.